Huawei's 2021 Global Mobile Broadband Forum welcomed more than 500 of the world's most influential execs from operators, vertical industries, and ecosystem partners. Now, of course, 5G is already a reality, but the big focus of the show was why the industry now needs to grow together. The 12th annual Mobile Broadband Forum featured a stellar lineup of keynote speakers from across the mobile ecosystem, with Huawei's rotating chairman Ken Hu opening the two day conference. On day two, Huawei's Ryan Ding gave a keynote speech entitled Green 5G Networks for a Low Carbon Future. In his speech, Ding said that 5G has become a new engine for the growth of the mobile industry and that to adapt to the rapid growth of data traffic, the whole industry will need to keep pursuing innovations in power supply, distribution, use and management, and build greener 5G networks with higher performance and lower energy consumption. All of these measures will help build networks with higher performance and lower energy consumption. Other keynote speakers on day two included GSMA Director General Mats Granrid, who focused on how the mobile industry is thriving together. We also learned how Sunrise is a 5G pioneer in Europe. And the CTO of UAE Operator Do enlightened us on its 5G journey. Orange updated the audience on the operator's efforts to provide an optimal network experience for 5G while we heard a perspective from Asia, as Philippine operator Globe Telecom revealed the secrets to its fast 5G deployment. Day 2's keynotes concluded with Huawei's Yang Chao Bin unveiling a series of exciting new products that will enable operators to support a 5G gigaverse society. In the 5G area, the massive mammal technologies, arch wideband, simplified architecture, green, intelligent, it is all, all, always the topic and uh, the direction we should work on. Earlier in the week, we also heard keynotes from Samina Council, Atisalat, Zain, Du, Elisa, Vodafone, Greek regulator EETT, and Huawei's David Wang. Away from the keynote conference, the forum featured a large exhibition hall, Huawei Innovation Land. Five exhibition areas were set up across the JAFSA One venue, providing conference goers a first-hand look at anything from 5G business success to wireless solution support. And a number of dedicated sessions took place across the two days. The second day of the show played host to the fourth wireless autonomous network industry forum as well as a round table focused on the sub 3 gigahertz spectrum market. Also during the week, attendees took part in a microwave industry round table and the 5G fixed wireless access forum. Well, that's it for this year's mobile broadband forum from a very hot and sunny Dubai. With 5G now a reality, this year's show really demonstrated how the mobile industry can make the most of the opportunity if we all work together. We'll see you again next year.